Hi, I'm Jochen. And I'm Fred. Together we're going to present our system NEO, which generalizes confusion matrices to hierarchical and multi-output labels. Confusion matrices are amongst the most important visualizations that help practitioners understand the performance of machine learning models. Because of that, they are included in many libraries and frameworks. And although they look quite simple at first glance, they have a very interesting property. They allow us to visualize the complete distribution of the predictions of a model on a given dataset. To understand how machine learning developers use confusion matrices in practice, we conducted a formative research survey with machine learning practitioners at Apple. While the full results in the paper detailed the survey specifics, challenges, and tasks that practitioners face when using confusion matrices, it's worth highlighting that confusion matrices are useful for a number of different tasks beyond model evaluation. From the formative research, we discovered four main challenges that practitioners face when using confusion matrices. Let's look at these challenges around dataset structure specifically. Here we see the one-dimensional representation of a classification model's output. In this example, the class labels are different fruits. To construct a confusion matrix from these labels, we'd compute every combination of the actual label against the predicted label for every class. In our work, we wanted to support other label structures found in modern machine learning applications, such as hierarchical labels, as seen here in the higher level groups of classes like citrus fruits and palm. However, this is still a one-dimensional structure. Other complex datasets can contain multi-output labels. For example, here, when we now have classes for taste along with fruit. You could then imagine scaling this to some higher number of classes too, such as whether or not the fruit is ripe or not to eat. Our work can construct confusion matrices from these more complex label structures so practitioners can get results for classifying a sweet, ripe apple or simultaneously sour, ripe lemons and sour, ripe limes. We built these features into a visualization system we call NEO. Since confusion matrices are ubiquitous in machine learning, we wanted to preserve their familiar design language rather than redesign them completely. NEO supports interactively visualizing other performance metrics, hierarchies, and multi-output labels that we'll see in a demo shortly. Lastly, NEO's visualization can also be represented as a reactive specification, where updating the visualization updates the spec, and vice versa making it easy to share specific configurations of a confusion matrix with others. Here you can see our system NEO in action, demonstrated on a small classification problem of different fruits, including lemons, limes, oranges, and apples. As we've already mentioned earlier, when we designed NEO, we aim to achieve a visual representation that people who know confusion matrices are already familiar with. Our system consists of an enhanced confusion matrix view at the bottom. Hovering over the individual cells shows more detailed information in the tooltip section. Right now we show the individual instance counts. Guided by our formative study, we show metrics about the classes right next to the confusion matrix, which is something that practitioners said was lacking from conventional confusion matrices. At the moment, only accuracy is activated. At the top, we have settings to configure the confusion matrix to the user's needs. For example, the user can change the visual encoding from color to size. An important feature of NEO is that the entire visualization is represented by a JSON-based specification. We can reveal the specification in the UI to quickly adapt the configuration of our visualization. So let's say we wanted to add additional metrics. We can do this by simply adding entries for those metrics in the respective field. By clicking Update, we can apply these changes immediately. From our survey, we know that practitioners often encounter structured data. Hierarchical labels are a core feature of NEO. The axis of the confusion matrix reflect the hierarchical structure of the data and can be used to collapse and expand categories such as collapsing the citrus category in the demo. Our system also supports multi-output labels. This is achieved using the shelves component of our visualization. It triggers operations that can be used to explore the data or drill down into a subset of the classes. The dataset consists of three output labels, fruit, taste, and ripeness. Using the top shelf, we can nest these label in, labels into each other. Here we nest the taste into fruit. As you can see, this also yields an hierarchical structure and allows us to explore confusions between combinations of the individual classes. 
The ordering of the nesting can be specified by rearranging the dimensions, which results in a different structure of the matrix. Of course, we can also include the ripeness to get a full view of the data. But for this demo, the resulting matrix is probably a little bit too big. So let's say we are only interested in confusions between lemons. We can simply select a sub-matrix by clicking on the magnifying class next to each label. This allows the user to focus only on the subset of the data that is relevant for their current analysis task. Now let's zoom back out again. An additional operation that we support is conditioning, which allows the user to explore confusions between labels given the status of a secondary label. Here we activate conditioning on taste. By selecting Observed and Taste Sweet, we can look at what the confusion matrix looks like for instances where the observed label taste was sweet. Our system has several additional features that we describe in detail in our paper. Together with the implementation, we provide several example datasets to try it out. For instance, here you can see the dataset that shows confusions between predicted icons that are used throughout iOS apps. And that wraps up our demo. Now that we've shown what our system can do, I want to give a quick teaser on how the system works under the hood. A key insight of our paper and the foundation of our system is that we can think of a confusion matrix as a joint probability distribution between two random variables, the actual label and the predicted label. This allows us to express all interactions and manipulations that we just showed you in the demo using algebraic operations on multivariate probability distributions. The three main operations are marginalization, nesting, and conditioning. And they correspond directly to, an, to analysis tasks that a user might want to perform and can be accessed in NEO through the shelf metaphor, which we show again here at the top of the slides. So given our fruit example from earlier, using marginalization, we can investigate what are the confusions for the label fruit independent of their taste and ripeness. Using nesting, we can investigate questions like, what are all the confusions for taste for each of the fruits? And finally, we have conditioning. This allows us to ask questions like, what are the confusions for taste if the predicted fruit label is apple, for example. We're really excited to extend this work in the future with other design improvements, such as continuing to scale matrix visualization, but also support analysis tasks too, such as automatically finding relevant submatrices across labels, interactively querying confusion matrices, and comparing matrices across different models. Thank you all for listening, and please reach out if you have any questions.